I absolutely love it when a girl is obsessed about improving her back squat. In today's video, I'm gonna try and help you out and give you some technique tips to help you nail that perfect back squat. Check this, I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, for your back squat, we're gonna talk about the setup first. So, your hands need to be as close to your shoulders as possible. This creates lots of upper back tension. This also adds a bit more cushioning for when the bar sits on your back because it bunches up your upper traps. <clears throat> Once you pop underneath the bar, we want a thumbless grip. I find that's easier on the wrist. You're going to, once you've stood up with the bar, get your elbows underneath the bar as much as possible to create more lat tightness. The more tightness we have with your back, the safer your lift will be, the safer will be for your spine as well. Feet is gonna be about shoulder width, hip width, depending on your mobility and flexibility. You can have a slight 10 to 15 degree toe flare if you wish. What I want you to do is break by pushing your knees out to the sides and squatting in between your knees as opposed to squatting behind your knees. You'll notice when you squat, squat between your knees, you'll feel so much better, you'll hit a more appropriate depth and you won't feel so stuck. One more. Thank you. Couple things too. You wanna to maintain from the bottom of your rib cage to your belly button the same distance, okay? So it's called keeping your anterior core turned on. What we see too many times is too much of a rib flare and extension before you begin your squat and you're gonna get really stuck in the bottom position. Either you won't hit an appropriate depth or you'll fall too far forward or you can get a little butt wink, okay? So that's the position. Last thing too, as opposed to just going down and plopping to the bottom of the squat, you actually want to pull yourself down, use your hip flexors and pull yourself down into the bottom position of the squat. When you're ready to explode, keep your knees out and they explode out of the bottom nice and fast. Hope that helps. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Now, if you are truly obsessed with improving your back squat and you've got your technique down pat, but you're not quite sure about the sets and reps side of things, then you're probably gonna like my brand new program I created. It's called Strong Curves. It's for girls who love lifting that want to build, that want to build a strong, fit, athletic hourglass figure. It includes the back squat and some sets and reps. I've taken care of all the guesswork for you. In fact, even the rest periods as well. What I'll do is in the comment section below this video, I'll leave a link, you can click that link, or we'll go to my website, you can download the program 100% on the house as a way of saying thank you for watching this video to the end. Apart from that, take care, comb your hair. I'll speak to you soon.